Good afternoon and welcome to Art Toronto Conversations with uh, Art Dealers. Um, thank you, Burke, for asking me to participate with you. It's a great honor to be talking with you today. Uh, you, three years ago, Burke, you opened your gallery and I was at your opening show. And I have to say that I've been watching you uh, migrate over the last few years and you have done a wonderful job to be an ambassador for artists in the city and to bring wonderful exhibitions to our city. So Burke, will you please tell us about your space and your exhibitions and your plans and how you think about uh, what you do? What's meaningful to you in your exhibitions? Uh, okay, the, well, thank you very much for that lovely introduction. And I'm really um, enjoying this opportunity to speak with you. You've been so great with me as a new dealer. Um, you've got so much experience over 40 years, which is an amazing daunting number as a young dealer to think about being in the business that long. And uh, it's been great to get your advice and uh, thoughts about the business and about running a gallery and the ins and outs of, uh, of kind of the strange world we inhabit. But um, in terms of my gallery here, it's called United Contemporary, and it really was inspired by the United Artists of Hollywood when the major actors, Charlie Chaplin, um, Mary Pickford, decided to start their own studio where they'd have a greater control over their their own careers. And I think as an artist myself, um, that's where that came from. Just wanting to do things maybe a little differently and have the artists have a greater role in, in the gallery itself. And also I know how important your space is to you and how you think about hanging exhibitions. Um, do you, how do you think about really I guess the evolution of your hanging the, your exhibitions. Is that a meaningful? Uh... Actually, actually, I would say that's one of the big surprises for me, you know, having put on exhibitions myself um, over a long period of time and helped others with exhibitions. The idea of the exhibition, I think is, is much greater to me now as a gallerist than it was before. And I think it's maybe because I have this outside perspective of seeing the artists come into the space and kind of put their exhibition together. So the importance of the exhibition, um, I almost think of it like a musician recording a bunch of songs and then they have the album, the order of the songs, it's all very important. And then the space here, it's the same way when we're hanging shows with the artists. And it's always great with different personalities, how you know people have opinions about how things are gonna be shown and this needs to be seen next to this piece. And then the exhibition is really it's a statement, it's like a concept album, you know? It's Sergeant exactly. exactly, and and it's so much fun to come into a space. It's so dynamic. The problem right now with the internet, of course, is it really doesn't work. It's not friendly, it's too slow. You're forced to look at things in a digital way, and it's really not how people experience art. People experience art, they walk into your space, they or any of the wonderful spaces in Toronto, um, and elsewhere, and they see artwork in relation to one another. They look at one thing and they look at another thing and they experience it, they have a conversation and it's exciting, it brings joy. Um, it's very difficult for this, this doesn't happen on the internet. Clearly, we, we all know that, we've all seen that. Um, so what are you doing now, Burke, to, to, to encourage people to come to your gallery and actually see the exhibition, which is so important uh, I mean, for the sea of art? Yeah, we're, we're kind of lucky. I mean, it's all relative, but you know, during COVID that we have, we were allowed to open much earlier than our friends in the performing arts who are still locked out. And I think one thing we've obviously all been trying to do is make appointments with people, give people the opportunity to be comfortable in how they want to experience the work in the space. Some people want to be there with no one else in the space and then you can accommodate that. Um, you know, we, we're missing out on that buzz, that energy of openings, which is, which is a, it's a total drag, but you know, the aura of the show, of the exhibition, of seeing all the work together is still there. And um, I think what we're trying to do is instead of having one opening with the artist, 
over two or three hours. The artist is coming, you know, every single Saturday of their exhibition and being here with the work so that people can come in staggered over a longer period of time. Right, and I, th I, th I think that you're finding and we're all beginning to find that collectors and people love being engaged in art. So as we reinvent ourselves during this time, people are coming to see, one at a time they're coming to see because a, a collector, art brings them joy. They don't wanna live their lives without art. They want it, whether it's seeing it, visiting it at an institution level at the Art Gallery of Ontario, or seeing it in a, in a private gallery, um, or whether they want to um, have some things in their own home. I think the exp those people who experience art don't want to be without it. So yeah. and we're I finding this again now, aren't we? Pardon me? We're finding this again. We're finding out that people want to come back. Collectors don't want to be without art. Yeah, and people have been, been coming in and almost like a sigh of relief, like, oh, I'm so glad to be out doing something to be engaged in the community. And I mean, again, that I think is the, the main purpose of the gallery is to create community around this art, around these artists and, you know, um, be able to share it, which we can still do in a limited capacity. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And I think we, we get more creative as, as uh, times change and we just reinvent ourselves to accommodate the time we're living in. Um, I'm excited to see your next show, Burke. What is it? The next show is Stefan Burke, um, who is going to be here exhibiting during Art Toronto, during the Art Fair. So we are going to be having a, a separate space in the complex here with gallery artists. And then Stefan will be in the main gallery here. So what we're trying to do is try to spread out our artists among a few different spaces because our space is much um, much smaller and compact than say your large gallery so you want to give people space and feel comfortable with the art and then again limit limiting limiting the numbers of people coming into the gallery this is all going to be cut out by the way this is terrible no it's always good you know what i'm really excited to see your exhibition and i wanted to thank you burke for Everything you've done um, for artists in Toronto and for what you've added to the art world, um, I think um, we'll all begin to see life improving as people begin to get out more and visit exhibitions. Okay, thank you very much, Jane. Um, I really appreciate that. So Jane, I'm a young art dealer. Well, not maybe young, but I'm a new art dealer. Um, what advice might you give to new collectors? Well, we've talked about the experience and the excitement and the joy of going into an exhibition and seeing a show. I think the, um, if you really are serious about wanting to build a collection, I think you, the idea is to look a great deal and to look at a lot of things. And when you're in an exhibition that was done over a period of time by a single artist, it is a difficult, it's really difficult to actually choose the one you like the best, but it's a, it's a good, goal to have for yourself, to walk into a show, if you decide the time is right to buy something, to actually take home your favorite and figure out what that one is. Because making that decision is really tough. It's not that easy. And um, once you take it home, the experience is exactly very, very, very different. You begin to appreciate a work of art from a much more intimate point of view and you begin to see all the layers, which you don't initially see most probably when you're at the gallery. Yeah, it keeps giving. It keeps giving, yes. All right, well, thank you for being very giving with your time for me as a new dealer and uh, thanks to everyone here who tuned in. Thank you, Bert. Okay. All right, is that a wrap? That's a wrap. What do you think, Lily? That was great.